I haven't felt a weight on my chest like this since Bel Air. No, no, that's not my voice. Wait, is it saying get out? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Paralyzed with fear right now. This is it, y'all. Look at that. It has an attic, it looks like. And apparently there's also a basement. So we're about to have a jumping straight right into the weeping angels. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Right. First off, my name is Sondra. I am the manager. I've been here for almost 13 years. We do have the house here at least in 1894. Might be here earlier than that, but it was first owned by a Dr. White and his wife, Sarah, and then they sold the house to Dr. John Gibbons and his wife, Jessie. They were kind of known for adopting orphan and abandoned children. We do have documentation of one, which is Helen, but the house is kind of mostly known for Rachel. As well as over here on the piano, this picture here. This is Mabel Hopper. Oh, wow. Uh, she once owned the house as well. Uh, after she passed away, though, yeah. um, she was brought back in this room to lay in a state of rest. Um, okay. So I think we, a lot of times we get her presence in this room, too, as, as well. We also have a portal in the house. Um, oh, which runs down in between these two couches over here. So this? Um, yes, okay. in, in, in this corner of the room, down into the basement, up into uh, Jesse's chamber, and then into the into the attic. So, okay. of course, we're getting, you know, multiple uh, entities in here, uh, unworldly entities in here. Yeah. Um, which, again, I have seen with my own eyes. This room is the waiting room. We also call it Big Black's room. It's just a big black shadow. This is initially where he was first seen. He took form as a big humanoid figure in oh. here. Um, since then, he's been seen all throughout the house. The room behind me here is where the examination room was. Oh, okay. So over here, which is one of the bathrooms, but it's not workable right yeah. now. But this used to be the operating room back in the day. Oh, oh, that <laughs> scared the heck out of me. Oh, uh, this. <laughs> it's reported we have four bodies buried in the backyard, Ooh. Um, which is unmarked graves. One of the previous owners was a artist, and he had a vision, so he painted his vision. He said it depict one of the bodies buried in the backyard. Wow. So I will tell you, um, we were the last ones up here last night. This door was not open. Really? Yes. It was our group up here, so I know it wasn't <sighs> open. Okay. Woo, okay. Well. They obviously probably don't want to <laughs> shut. <laughs> Anyways, this is Jessie's chamber. Jessie's chamber. Jessie's chamber. She okay. was Dr. John's wife. That um, is what we call Gary's closet. He was a little boy who used to live here in the 70s. They did tell us that he loved to play hide and go seek and all that. Cool, great. And he loved to play in that closet. He opens that door all the time. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> this is Rachel's oh, room. Rachel. After the fire, Rachel was brought back up here where she passed away two to three days later. Oh, wow. 1912, she, it was said that she snuck down there to sneak a peek at Christmas. She bumped into oh. a lit candle, causing her nightgown to catch fire. Oh, no. And she, she bumped into that lit candle, and they said that she was blocked in there. 
there are some dolls on the bed that she loves setting off. So they they might go off. She loves doing that. Uh, we've heard her sing "Ring Around the Rosie." I've been up here and because I'm real close to Rachel. Yeah. And I said good night, sweetheart, and you could audibly hear her say night night. So this is the attic. Mm -hmm. The red room. We call this the heart of the house. The portal runs down in front of that mirror right there. Okay. We do have people that will sit on the end of this bed and something will grab their feet and yank, yank it under. The whole upstairs seems threatening. Okay. The whole upstairs is known for the man in the attic. Um, he'll say a lot of times, get out in your ear oh. or in EVPs. And it's almost like a real deep demonic voice. Just like yeah. Like low. Yeah, low. yeah, low. yeah. And this is okay. pretty creepy. You wouldn't consider it like strictly residual. Right. It's more of a a lived in house, yeah. I guess would be a way to describe it. I mean, I've seen them get hurt in Dr. John's room. Whoa. You know? Yeah. And things get violent in there, so <laughs> this is our Oculus room. We are the only one in the United States that has the oh, Oculus room. Oculus room. Um, it is not all the way completed yet, but when you walk in here, this is the offering room. Whoa, I've never seen something like this. Okay, awesome. Pizza the, season. The, the guy called me and was trying to find a house, and he said, I bought some bad juju walking up today. <laughs> and he can join us. Solo Adventure plus Pizza Guy. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. <laughs> oh, back stairwell, okay. Yeah, we're getting ready to go down. Um, this is the only place we ask people not to go because there was a fire in the 70s and it weakened the floor. Oh, oh um, my goodness. This, this, was, entire... this oh my was their God. kitchen area back in the day. But this is what they call the servants' quarters. Okay. Um, we don't have any documentation Dr. John had any servants. Um, when Gary's family, the little boy's family, lived here, this was boarded across and the railing wasn't here. Their oh. couch and stuff was here, their dinette was there, and then, like I said, their kitchen stuff was, their kitchen area was back there. And then? And then behind here, this is Virgil's closet, which Virgil, Virgil. is Gary's dad. Okay, so Gary's closet and Virgil, oh, they both have closets. Um, Virgil, after they moved out, he came back to get a hammer and a ladder. Upon opening these doors, Virgil had a fatal heart attack and died. Oh, wow. Whoa. A lot of people um, that come down here uh, get their hair pulled, their shirts tugged, their um, hats knocked off, their glasses knocked off. They get EVPs is like you can go to hell and stuff down here. They get some pretty cool pictures over in the crawl space and stuff. Um, and then a lot of people come down here and like will do Ouija board sessions and Ooh. stuff. And that gets all violent and stuff and shoved like over towards the water heater. So it's kind of like all broke down That's and stuff. That's why I'm not messing um, with Ouija boards. That is where I will be if you need anything at all. So just yes, knock safety on the door. Yeah, just knock on the door if you need me for anything there. Okay. Um, other than that, that pretty much wraps everything up. I'm a uh, little you, bit of me regretting I mean, so much just, picture here. Just promise me you'll be careful. Yes. There's a lot of like physically careful yeah. for one thing because like there's a lot of like stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. dark corners and. And also, like, careful with the content of what you do as yes. well. Can't get it out of my head. When she brought up Big Black, I still can only think of Rob and Big from MTV. I don't know oh what that is. Oh my god, that's... Actually, if that's the case, I'm stoked because... I wasn't allowed to watch MTV as a child, Rob so I don't know anything about that. wholesome people. Oh. Did you hear that? No. What did you hear? Stop. Above us. Stop. No, I'm not joking. Fuck. My heart just sank. Like feet? Yeah. On this ceiling? Either there or here. Like directly above us. The difference between being in the environment is like so different than like watching it on like 
a computer or on a phone. Like, because cause I leave, right? I leave after I'm done with, like, my contribution. And I feel so much safer when I'm, like, watching it on my phone. Would you test something with the weird opening door when you get to that area? Close the door all the way and then try to pull it back open very gently without turning the knob or anything. It looked like it was being opened by someone and then stopped. But sometimes if it's a little unaligned, it will pop open from not latching fully. My yeah. door did. Yeah, like literally our bathroom door did that today. But it yeah. popped, but it's like, it's because the, the frame is like not fitting it I correctly. I can say I did hear and see her latch it. I'm trying to see if... No. Stepping around and shaking did not open this door. I tried to see if we can get this door open by stepping and jumping. I'll pull it. You have to turn that handle. That doesn't open any other way. So we have all the wireless multicams. Let's go put them in, in scarily amazing spots. All right, y'all. I don't know how this looks, um, on but you're coming on. Oh, yeah, Let's, this. yeah. Okay. take that. Okay. Do we need that? Is that anything? Uh, no, that's just an extra piece. Okay. After you, my Let's go on a journey. Journey through. Gosh, so There's so this many mirrors. Oh, I forgot about the scary photo, too. Lights on Um, I want to turn on a lamp. Okay. I know, my heart is racing. Hold on. Perfect view of Gary's closet. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get y'all. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> what if it opens? Do we do the, gra the, the foot grabby room? Probably, right? The red room? That's what it was called. Aww. Maybe the red room. You guys want the red oh, room? Oh, I'd spell something touch me. You're shitting No, me. I'm not. Okay, I, I'm... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, holy shit. Oh, God. I was not close to you. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I mean, I'll take that as a yes, and we'll do this room. All right, I am alone. Uh, my bathroom that I have to use down here is the old morgue, so that's fun. <laughs> my flashlight already died while I was in the bathroom. These are brand new batteries. What is this? There's so many flashlights over here. That one's weak. What is this? There's so many flashlights over here. So I guess we can start down here. If y'all are down for that. So I guess we can start down here. If y'all are down for that. Do you hear that? No, no, that's not my voice. Wait, is it saying get out? So many. Oh, is it here? Is it here? It's, it's like a whisper. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting excited now. I'm getting stoked. Yes, 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 yes. We can do it. Yes, yes, yes. This is the waiting room between the... Um, oh, oh my god, I'm already stumbling. Waiting room between the operation room and the examination room. I guess we can start with some flashlights, something easy. So a simple flashlight test using twist mag lights. They're literally just twist top mag lights. You can essentially turn them into touch lamps for stuff that carries electronic energy to complete the connection. Okay. <sighs> okay. Stop. Um, um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Whoever may be here with us, here, I'm going to shut this. I'm going to shut this. We'll try to be as... Uh, 
Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Whoever may be here with us, here, I'm gonna shut this. I'm gonna shut this. We'll try to be as... Whoever's here with us, if anyone is here with us, can you let go of that light? Can you, can you step away from it? If not, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. Okay. If this is Dr. John or any of Dr. John's patients, can you please turn off those flashlights in front of me? All you have to do is let go of them. There's one, there's two. Hello, whoever may be in here. My name is Jordan. I mean you no disrespect. I mean you no harm. I just want to get to know you. I just want to, to understand and learn about you. I need you to let go of that light. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. I'm gonna re-zero it. We're gonna call it, oh God. We're gonna turn down the sensitivity a bit. We're gonna zero it. Okay. If there was somebody interacting with us, if you go up to that red light, you can make it sing. If you touch that antenna, it'll change colors, it'll react and you can let me know where you are. If you would like to communicate and talk with us, you can make it very clear by turning on both flashlights in front of me. The two flashlights that are sitting on top of the desk. Yes, hi, hello. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna set up a music box as well, y'all. We'll put it here. We'll put it here. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Um. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm locking up, y'all. I'm locking up, y'all. Okay, so for those who don't know, that music box that is there facing into the doorway, it's just motion activated. You have to physically walk in front of it to get it to go off. What do you mean? Okay, I'm just angling it slightly different. Okay, I don't feel threatened. I feel heavy, but I don't feel threatened. Okay, so for those who don't know, we're inside the waiting room. Oh my God. I don't know what that feeling was. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat. I'm going dark, I'm going darkness. If I come into this room, can you stop touching the antenna for me? All you have to do is let go of it or step away from it and I'll know that I'm being listened to and I'm being respected. It's not stopping. It also sounds really different. Okay, I'm gonna move this off the floor. I'm gonna set it on the bed. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Okay, I guess we'll put it like this. Oh, shit. Uh, that sounded like a fucking voice. Fuck, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. We're just gonna call it freaking out. I'll sit in this chair if that's what you'd like from me. <laughs> Is that what you want from me? Is that what... Can you go to the yellow light if you want me to stay in this room? He just stopped. Oh, it's so cold in this room. Holy shit, it's so cold in this room. Y'all wanna do a multicam check? Okay, there's both lights on. I need a little more, a little more direct. Okay, multicam, how are we looking upstairs? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, um. 
What? Hello? Uh, <laughs> okay, I've never had that happen. What the fuck? Um... Can you turn my flashlight back on? This is a push... Holy shit, it turned on! Okay. I just heard a thud upstairs. Did you hear that in the mics? just heard that one that sounded directly above me okay hear me out what if I set some stuff upstairs so I have these these are literally just basic convenience store style motion detectors that's all they do they detect motion I'm gonna set one in front of Gary's door and I'm gonna set one in the hallway I don't feel too bad down here y'all Like, I don't feel too bad. Wherever I can set my computer is the safe room. And I can set my computer there. And there's snacks. You can't be scared with snacks. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Can't be afraid with fruit snacks. forgetting about that photo or that picture look at it it's so scary <sighs> okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this what what I swear I heard a voice. Oh, I really don't like it up here. I swear I heard a voice just now while I was in the hallway. <sighs> Latch shut. There's latch shut. Okay. That's good, that's good. That's moving because of me. I don't know if this camera picks up. Oh, that's pitch black. I really don't like it up here. I wish there was a smaller light. We can still see, can you see now? with my flashlight off. Oh. Okay, let's go back downstairs. We can try a regular spirit box or we can, uh, actually let's try the ovelisk downstairs. Okay, it's green, it's facing me. Would you like me to come in there? Do you wanna talk? Whoever's by the green pod, can you walk away from it, please? Or maybe walk in another direction so I can see that you're here? It's going yellow. There's no shot that that was going off. It's not this. So that's me adjusting it. That door is definitely more open. Holy shit, that door is definitely more open. Yeah, that's 100% more open. Whoever's in here with me, can you stop? If you walk away from that device, I'll give you another device where you can use actual words to communicate with me. What is happening? 
Okay, this is going to be me. What does that mean? What does that mean? Holy fuck, that door just moved. Oh, I'm going to shit my pants. Oh my god. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> okay, you have my attention. I'm going to pull up the ovelus and we're going to see um, if we can get some responses from the ovelus. For those who don't know the ovelus, what it does is it takes environmental reading, readings, EMF readings, uh, changes in temperatures, and converts them into a, a predetermined dictionary of words. Um, one that we've used has wielded some pretty good spot on results in the past and we're going to try to give another one a go. Um, one that we've used has wielded some pretty good spot on results in the past and we're going to try to give another one a go. I didn't lose it. How did I lose my... He's here. Who is here? Okay. Um, who is here? <laughs> Great. Um, who might be here with us? Can you give me a name? Is it Dr. John Gibbs? Is it Big Black? Is it one of the patients? If me being in here... Adam. Adam? Adam. Is Adam the person that's here? Adam, are you a patient? Am I welcomed here or no? Rachel or Jesse or Gary or Virgil, if any of you are here, you can come and speak to me. Through this, this device in my hand or this... This recorder, if you speak into this, I'll be able to hear you. Yeah. The? <laughs> Never. The. <laughs> I don't think I'm welcome down here, y'all. Do you not want me in this room? Beginning. The beginning? Me being in here. You have one more chance to give me a clear... Communic form meeting. of meeting. The beginning of the meeting? You have one more chance to give me a clear line of communication here. I need to know if you understand me, if you'd like to talk with me, and if I'm welcome here. If not, I'm going to move on and, and talk to other people around here. You're free to follow me around the house, but nowhere else. All right, three, two, one. Okay, I don't know why I'm feeling very panicky right now. Why does this light seem so much brighter than it was? Okay, 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 okay. Holy shit, what's going on? That is, that is, that is moving. What the fuck? Did the door move again? Stop, 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 stop. The bells are like... Okay, well, 
that's um, <laughs> um, cool. That's facing inside there. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, well, fuck it. I'm gonna go in there. Consider this challenge, too. I don't want to go in here. Okay, that's horrific. Come on now, a closed shower curtain? Creaky door clo Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I had to look. I had to look. Hey, nice shower head. I had to look. I had to look. I had to look. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I don't, I don't like it in here at all. Okay. My mouth is so dry. All right, I'm going to drink another Red Bull real quick because I'm very stressed out. Um, I'm going to chug some water as well. And we're heading upstairs. I'm going to chug a Red Bull. I need you all to, to, to cheer me on like we're, we're like I'm, I'm Chadley Bradley the frat bro. You ready? Here we go. Chadley, Fradley, Fradley, the frat bro. Call it. Call it. <laughs> All right. Hello? What the fuck was that? Oh, that sounded like somebody walking on the staircase. All my confidence is gone, y'all. Oh, it's all gone. Hold on, we're gonna sit next to this one. So how this works is it's a simple device that has either EMF, temperature, or physical touch. And you can interact with it. Oh God, I'm stressed. Hi, Jesse or Gary. If either of you are in here, my name's Jordan. I mean you no harm. I would just like to communicate and talk with you. I would like to learn from you and understand who you are. Okay, I'm gonna say the REM pod is acting up, right? We've never had the REM pod do this. Here, I'm gonna unscrew the antenna and screw it back in. Yeah, at this point, let's just try the other one. And see if, if Mine is just maybe, maybe it's like the battery's dying and it's freaking out now. Yeah, let's just go grab the other one. We'll come back up. Ugh. And we'll take it from there. We can also try to swap the battery really fast, which maybe I'll just do that. Rule out a battery dying or being faulty. Okay. Brand new pack of batteries. Brand new pack of batteries. What? Uh, hello? Uh, what? Where's the battery? It must have fell out. No, no, no. It must have fell out upstairs. Right? That's the new one. It had to have fell out upstairs. No, that's that's literally that's too goofy. That's too on the nose. 
it had to have fell upstairs when I picked it up. Or like on the bed when I set it down. Like it's literally too goofy. There's no cover, no, it literally came like this. There, there's just, it must have fell out. It's just too goofy. Maybe that's why I started freaking out. Maybe the battery is starting to fall out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's all. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Did you see it? Did you see it? Was the multicam up? I don't know what scene we were on. I am I'm about to throw up. Are you kidding me? Happy. Happy. Wait, you're happy? Gary, is this you? Gary, can you please stop the music box? I'm shaking. No, it's just Gary. It's just Gary. Right? If it's just Gary, it's okay. If it's just Gary, it's okay. Gary is nice. It just went off again. I don't know if you hear the bit of boop. It's going, it went off twice. Happy and then sad. And then happy again. Wait, Gary, no, 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 it's okay. Gary, it's okay. We're not, I'm not, I'm not mad at you. There's no way it could have been open with the pressure the door's latch. I mean, y'all saw me pulling on the door earlier. It stopped and started again. Like, physically pulling on the door. Okay, 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 no, it's okay. Here, we'll try this. I really don't like the door just being open, though. Let's open it all the way. The single chair in there, whew. Okay, here, how about this? We'll shut it again. I'm pulling on it. Okay. The beady boop, the, the envoy just went off again. Puzzled? Puzzled? I mean, I guess I have been asking I have been asking. Scared. No, Gary, I'm not upset with you. Gary, I'm not upset with you. I'm so sorry if I'm coming across upset. I was just startled. I promise I'm not upset with you. I promise I'm not upset with you, Gary. Okay. Okay. Okay, Gary, uh, uh, um, okay, puzzled, sad, no, 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 Gary, I promise I'm not upset, I'm not upset, I know I'm yelling, but I don't mean, I don't mean to be, 
Oh, y'all. I'm just, I was startled. You watched me shut it again. You watched me shut it again, surprised. I was just surprised. Gary, don't be sad. Okay, I'm gonna turn off your music for a little bit. I'll give you another device to play with though. Gary, that's another little toy you can play with if you go near it. If you go near that toy, you can touch the light, touch the antenna, and it will go off. It'll make colors, it'll make sounds. You can have as much fun as you want with it. I won't be upset, I won't be scared, I promise I won't yell. I know I startled you before, but I was just surprised. You know, like a, like a, like a birthday, like, oh, surprise. Should we try just a regular spirit box in here? Okay, so this right here is a spirit box. It cycles through stations very quickly, AM or FM. And it, the, the theory is the waves can be manipulated and, and used in a way with a white noise and, and the, the energy of the frequencies changing really fastly to produce and, and get voices, straight up voices. Gary, if you're here right now, angry? Gary, do you not like the spirit box? I can turn this off if you don't like the sound of it. Temperature's rising again. Gary, if you're here with me, can you, can you... What was that? Hello? I think I heard a kid's voice. Gary, is this you? You can speak into the device in my hand and let me know. It's very quiet. Angry. I'm not hearing much. Gary, if this is you, can you say hello? This is happy. What? I Did I just hear Gary? If this noise is stressing you out, we, we can try another device. Good evening. Hmm. Okay. Here, we'll try a different way. Maybe, maybe they didn't like the sound of that. Here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the, the Ovilus again. Gary, Virgil, Rachel, or Jesse, if any of you are here with me, can you, can you, can you give me a sign? Can you talk through the device that is located on my arm? If you speak into it, or come near it, you can manipulate it. I just heard something in that closet. We're listening. Oh my god. We're listening. Hi. My name is Jordan. I don't mean you any harm. I would just like to talk to you and communicate with you. If this is Gary, can you can you let me know? Can you say your name back to me? I know you like to play hide and seek. I will flash the lights. What? What lights? The REM pod? Those lights? You can touch that red light in the... Candle. Candle? I guess it kind of looks like a candle. Yeah, Gary, it does kind of look like a candle. You can touch that again. You can touch the lights. You can, you can flicker it. Imagine it is a candle. Gary, I'm going to take a photo really quick. If you'd like to be in the photo, you can. 
you can just appear in the photo and I can see you and, and we can be friends. The hall? Would you like me to go to the hall? Maybe you, you don't want me in your room anymore? Oh my god, everything's going off all around me. That was a touch sensor. Sad. Okay, Gary, I can move on. I can, I can go to a different room if this is too much for you. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to overstay my welcome, and I, I left. left. Like my the hall to the left. Okay, okay. I think I think um, we overstayed our welcome, y'all. Thank you for being in here with us. I appreciate you all, and I I, I hope you um. I hope you rest well. Thank you, Gary. I just don't know where this battery is, but we should, um, we should go. We should not stay in here. I think we ever, what? Hello? Why did, uh, y'all, you good? Why did it just get so dark? The big light died. This light that I checked before we came up here, um, that was had three bars on it. Uh, okay, okay. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so it freaking out earlier, it freaking out earlier, I think, is because the battery was dislodged and not fully, um, not fully plugged in. Gary, is that you? Are you up here with us? The doll room microphone is on. Cam 3 is the attic, yeah, so cam 1 above me. That's Gary's room. Cam two uh, is the doll room. I don't even know where I'm pointing. Doll room, which I think is over here. And then the red room is, is cam three, which is the attic. <sighs> okay. All right, uh, I'm gonna go pee real quick. I'm muting the mic and keeping it here. What is, what is happening? Anything on cameras? <sighs> okay, I am actually a little shook up from all that. That was a, that was a lot. There was beeping. I thought I heard beeping, but I thought it was in my head. The rim pod, the temp was changing up there. That Red Bull can, that could be an album cover. A Midwest emo album cover. Oh, I'm looking at the Red sitting on my floor. A broken, crooked thing. Left alone, like when she broke my soul. Whew. You might be looking at my butt again. Check it. No, don't check it out. Stop it. Don't check it out, is what I meant to say. Oh, man. I don't want to go in there. Like, I look at this, I want to throw up. Yeah, my heart's racing looking at it. Okay. If one of these dolls goes off, that supposedly go off on their own, I quit and I'll leave. So we have mood indicator here, REM pod there, 
music box there. Um, I'll also set out the flashlight since they're same time. Are you serious? What does that say? Puzzled? You're confused? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can explain what these things, oh, this is just going off. What the heck? Scared. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Rachel, I'll explain. Rachel, I'll, I'll explain. Let me set these down and I, I'll be able to explain to you what we're doing and how you can communicate with me. Uh, I'm going lights out. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is like my biggest fear. Hi, Rachel. My name's Jordan. I mean you no harm. What I have in front of you are, are a couple devices, the red light in the middle that you were playing with earlier. If you go near it, it goes off. If you touch it, it goes off. And, and it will let me know where you are. There are two flashlights over there too. Um, they kind of look like, yes, yes, like this. Yes, there's a second one. If you could turn that on as well, I know that you uh, understand me. That was great, that was great. And the third device, or the fourth device on there, has a bunch of faces on it. It's moods. You could be happy, you could be sad. You can, yes, yes, like that. Puzzled. Okay, but you're understanding. Wait, this is so cool. Yes, Rachel, you're understanding. So if you touch that device, you can tell me how you're feeling. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the flashlights, the torches, the, they're, they're almost like electronic candles. I don't remember what time period she's from. And if you touch them, you can give me a clear sign. So the one over here that I'm shining the light on, to my left, potentially your right, that will be yes. The other one on my right will be no. Okay, and then there is a f another device we put way back in the corner, and if you walk in front of it, it will go off and play some pretty music. So let's take it nice and slow. I heard shuffling in here. That was not me. That was not me. What was that? Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Change the sensitivity on this a bit. It's so cold in here. That's me. I'm gonna zero it. So I'll show you how these work. So if you come near it, you can make it play pretty music. And if you touch the antenna, it'll play really, really pretty music and, and squeal. Kind of like a wee, you know? Can you give me a sign if you understand? It could be a, a yes with a flashlight. It could be a no with a flashlight. You can make a sound. You could push one of your beach balls. Yes. Okay. I'm glad. Thank you so much. Everyone say hi, Rachel. Do you have a favorite baby doll? Yes. Wow. That was really quick. Puzzled. Okay, maybe not baby dolls. Maybe that's the wrong word. Uh, a doll in the room. Okay. Still puzzled. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's, let me try and think of a way to phrase it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, now the no, oh. Okay, things are picking up a bit. Happy, happy. We're also very happy to be here with you. We're very happy to be here with you. Okay, here's a clear question. Rachel, is your favorite doll on the bed in front of me? All of these amazing dolls on the bed. Is one of your favorites up there? You can give me a yes with that flashlight or a no with that flashlight. Or if you touch the red light in the middle, I'll have a clear idea. That's a yes. There's marbles and, and toys. Do you enjoy playing with the toys? There's like princesses and ponies. I think I'm hearing stuff in the hallway, y'all. Oh. Cool, cool.
great. She said, scared. I said, I'm hearing stuff in the hallway. And she said, scared. Yes? Okay. Did you hear that? Y'all definitely had to hear that. Because it literally sounded like something that was either here or in the hallway. But it was coming from this direction. Angry? I'm not angry. Holy. I'm not angry. I'm just a little, a little startled. I'm just a little startled. Angry again. Is this not Rachel anymore? Is there somebody else in here with me? If someone else is in here, you can use the devices in front of me as well. The one to my left, you can touch that purple object and it'll turn on. And that means yes. The one to my right, that means no. Is there somebody else in here with me who is not Rachel? Is this somebody brand new that I have not met yet? Either. Okay. All right. Hi, whoever you are. Nice to meet you. My name is Jordan. I mean you no harm. I'm here to just observe, talk, learn, and hopefully be able to... I don't know what that sound was. Communicate with you. If you do not want me in here... Maybe you're protective of Rachel, and you might think I, I'm, he yes? Okay. Well, I mean no harm to Rachel. I mean no harm to Gary, Virgil, Mr. H, any of the, any of the people who may still be here, and any of the people who may be traveling through here. I mean no harm. Any of the, any of the people who may still be here, and any of the people who may be traveling through here, I mean no harm. I have very not great vibes at all. Like shortness of breath type vibes. Okay, um, maybe we do Ovilus. Let's swap to other cameras. Here's the multicam. How's everything looking? How, how are the other rooms looking? Oh, 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 shit. That was behind that door. Sad. Sad? It's so wild that the REM pod was screaming the whole time we were downstairs. But then we come up here and it's like quiet. You know? I just literally saw my own shadow on the wall and just scared myself. Cool, great. Uh, I guess while we're up here, I could take a photo. I think we have a few photos left. Oh, This room feels very, like I feel sad in here. Like very, very sad. Okay. Taking a photo. Three, two, one. I missed my flashlight. Where's my flashlight? Oh, I don't like being in the dark in here. Okay. That sounded like it was under the bed. Rachel or whoever else might be in here. I have a device on my arm. It's called an ovilus. You can interact with it. You can come up to it. You can speak into it. And it will give me the words that you're trying to say directly to me. This is still going off. Angry. 
Okay, maybe I'll take it off of my arm. Maybe that will help some. Here, I'll take it off my arm. And I'll set it on this chair. Heaven? Chat, it's actually really scary not having you with safety net of being able to read. Um, heaven, yes. I mean, I do believe in a heaven. I do believe in an afterlife. Rachel, can you say your name or my name? All you have to do is talk into the box and you can, you can ask... Listen. Okay, I'm going to listen. I'm hearing stuff in the hallway. Rachel, is that you in the hallway? Is that you in the hallway? Confused. You told me to listen and I started hearing things in the hallway. Sad. She killed us. She what? She what? Oh my goodness, this thing is... I've never... S angry. I had an injury. You had an injury? Rachel, I've heard about it. I've... I've... I heard about your injury. I'm so sorry to hear what happened to you. I know it was a complete accident and, and you didn't mean it. You didn't mean for it to happen. You didn't mean any harm. You were just excited. Rachel, my heart hurts for you. She killed us. Oh my God. Because the, um, the doctor and the, the nurses, Scratch? No, I'd rather you not scratch me. I'd rather you not lay, I'd rather you not touch me. I'm here to just learn from you. I, I, I mean, you no harm. When she had her injuries, when she had the, her burns, um, it was documented that a couple of days after she she passed away and it seemed to be the quote mercy killing by, by the doctor and and the, the the staff the nurses she she killed us laugh who's laughing are you are you happy are do you, do you think it's funny that i'm 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 a little freaked out a little scared I totally understand. It is kind of funny. I'll give it another minute or two, y'all. Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Is that another person here? Scared again. Is Jeffrey another person here? Is Jeffrey a doll here? Confused? Do you not know who Jeffrey is either? We just got just got a random Jeff coming to talk to us. I understand. Is there anything else you'd like to say using that device before I turn it off? Suffered. You suffered. I know, Rachel. I know you did, and I'm so sorry for everything you've went through, and all the pain that has happened to you. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how you must feel. I know it was tragic, but we're here and, and there's many people who, who are hearing your story and are excited to talk to you and, and to hear all, about, hear all about it. You're making a lot of new friends tonight, Rachel. We're, we're all here. I'm going to take that device away now. Happy? I'm happy too. 
Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm getting really, really, really intense emotional feelings, like I'm about to cry. I have to... Bad spirits here. <laughs> I know, I know there are. I know, I've heard a lot about them, and I, I don't want to interact with them either. So, we won't, we won't, we won't. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. <laughs> I turned that off. I appreciate it. Um, thank you. Everyone say thank you to Rachel. That was very kind of you to talk to us. Bad, bad spirits here. I mean, maybe that's the the feel. Like, I, I literally feel like I'm about to cry, y'all. I don't know what's going on. We definitely will be back here. But I definitely have to bring people with me. This is a little bit... A little more than I thought we would be getting and experiencing. Um, even if it's just one guest. Okay, Ellie's here. I'm going to open the door. Yeah, because uh, I'm definitely going to need help collecting all this gear. Hi. Yeah, I need help. I, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, okay, okay, y'all, so we have to be somewhat quick, but I do want to peek into the mirror room because I haven't had a chance to, um, so maybe you can either come in there with me or you can be in your nook. I, I'll be in the nook. Okay, you can be in the nook. I did not go back there and I'm looking at it and I still want to throw up. Okay, in the red room. Told you I'd come up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the mirror room. Maybe. You can be in your nook. I mean, do you want me in there? No, as long as you feel okay here. Or just like knock yeah. if you uh, don't feel okay. I mean, actually, <laughs> I think I will come in. Okay. I just wanna be out here alone. Yeah. Okay, lights off. Okay, so we're in the Oculus room. Hold on, can you hold this? Yeah, it's actually like really beautiful in here. Yeah, it's actually really pretty. Um, this is a room covered in mirrors all the way around. I just want to thank the people who, who communicated with us tonight. Um, Rachel, Gary, Dr. Kibbs, um, any of the patients, whoever I was talking to in Rachel's room, I appreciate the time that you've given us and I respect the boundaries that you have showed us and I hope that you respect ours. So that's it. We said our goodbyes. Um, so I'll go downstairs like an end stream and then we'll pack up and get out. Let so me go first. Let me go. Okay. Okay, y'all. That's it. We did it. The first solo adventure is done. Is in the books. Is squashed. I appreciate y'all so much for going on this solo voyage with me. Sorry if I moved a little bit more at tur a turtle's pace. I just didn't know what I was signing up for, <laughs> to be honest. But I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, we definitely will come back and be able to fully, uh, fully do it. We, we, because if when we come back and we do retours, as we'll call them, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to do the tours again. We'll have more time to just jump straight in, and it will be great. Praise the YouTube gods. <laughs>